welcome back. Um, for this problem here, I'm going to go again, walk you guys through it. In this problem, there is one dimension that we have to um, assume. Um, so let's take a look here. Um, the, here are the dimensions that I got from the problem. I'm going to follow this. All right. So first, um, let's establish where we want to draw this problem. Um, where do we start? So um, I'm going to start down here where I see the R5. I'm going to go all the way up here, and then I'm going to go back to this, and then go all the way to the left. All right, so that, let's get back to my layer. So I'm going to go back to my zero layer here. Start on circle, because that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and align with this shape so that I don't have to zoom in and out much. All right, so five, enter in radius. Um, at the end of that, I'm going to go to here, go down 4.2. Enter, go to the right, 9.9, .9, enter, go up 18 there. All right, so now at the point 18 here, you can see we have another, we have an arc right here, right? Now that arc is 8.9. If you look at that, that arc, the center of that is 8.9 unit away from there. So that means right here, I'm going to go in 8.9, enter, hit escape. Right here is where the center of that circle will be 8.9 right there that's good and then the next thing we're going to do we're going to take 29 unit all the way up at this end point right here we're going to go 29 units up uh, 29 enter and then you can see we're going to go in 10.8 right there so we're going to go in 10.8 now let's talk about this at this 10.8 that's right there okay um, and then if we look at this, there's a radius of three here. So from here in three more unit is the center of this arc. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take this, go in three more unit, all right, escape. Then we're going to go to our circle here. There you go. Make it three, enter. And then now I can go ahead and get rid of this because that's doesn't, we don't need those. All right. Click on line, go to this. On the right of the circle here straight down past the circle a bit hit escape at that location the intersection has the r2 unit here the arc so we're going to do two things again uh, we can do fillet which is quicker or we can do tangent tangent radius so click on the first object all right click on radius here put in the dimension which is two enter and then we're going to go to our second one now we're going to trim all right, voila. So I'm going to go back to down here. I'm going to take this, go down 4.2. I'm going to go to the left, 11.4. I'm then going to go up from here to there, to the center. That is 7.7. .7. So I'm going to go up 7.7, .7, enter, and hit escape. At that location, I'm going to go ahead and create my... 7.7 .7, or I can snap right in there that that's right there okay now at this point we're going to go up here and look at the 20.4 this is the distance between the right and the left of the shapes here so we're going to go to offset we're going to do uh, 20.4 hit enter click the object go to the left right this point I'm going to click on it I'm going to extend it past the circle a bit Again, same thing. I can go to fillet, first object, and then second object. My radius, make sure the radius is 2. We haven't changed it in this problem, so we could just uh, click on it, but I want to show you. All right, and then we're going to have trim this down here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to have this arc to come straight on, right? I have this arc right here with that center there, right? So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to click on offset. I'm going to put in five, enter. I'm going to take this two in there. So I know along this segment here, the center is somewhere on this segment. I just don't know exactly where. So this is where we're going to go ahead and make an assumption. We're going to assume that the center of this, when we draw to the left, that intersection right there will be the center of that arc. All right, off five units right so that is the assumption that we need to to look for 
Okay. Then I'm going to go to um, circle or I can go down to tangent, tangent radius. I'll just click on this and I'll put in the dimension that we're looking for is uh, 10. Okay. When that's done, trim, 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 and trim. And the problem, ladies and gentlemen, is complete. Um, all you have to do is just go back and click on your dimensions and start clicking on dimension or um, you can do dim style make sure you change your text size to a good number and then also the, your units make sure the decimal place um, all right when that is done all you have to do is go ahead take out your dimension um, so for this I'm gonna go ahead and do those that's 20.4 all right this right here radius is two this right here when i zoom in a little bit radius is 8.9 and then i got all those dimensions this problem is done enjoy